proposing a federal 15-week abortion ban. 69 News reporter Bo Colt now is here in the studio with a look at what this could mean come November. Well, Wendy, Democrats are united in keeping abortion rights and have pushed for federal laws allowing that, while Republicans are split on who should decide, the states or the federal government. From a, a strictly political perspective, it's confusing. Lehigh Valley Republican strategist Sam Chen on South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham's proposal for a federal ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy, with some exceptions. This is where America should be at the federal level. I don't think this is going to hurt us. Chen isn't so sure. And the houses that are very tight, and this is the kind of wedge issue that could backfire on them. And Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell appears to side with Chen in keeping the federal government out of abortion rights. I think most of the members of my conference prefer that this be dealt with at the state level. And the issue is central on PA's campaign trail. In the governor's race, Democrat Josh Shapiro promises abortion access, while Republicans Republican Doug Mastriano has called for a total abortion ban with no exceptions. In the Senate race, Democrat John Fetterman is pro-choice, while Republican Dr. Mehmet Oz is pro-life with extreme exceptions. And we asked Oz which government body should decide during a recent visit to Allentown. I don't think the federal government should be involved in that question. It's not in the Constitution. Those issues should be left to the state governments. And I think that what Senator Graham has done, though, is he's helped to to crystallize the discussion for what it really should be, which is what is the American people's will on this issue. An issue Democrats are hammering home to turn out voters. But Northampton County Republican head Glenn Geisinger believes Graham's proposal will help GOP candidates as it cuts through extreme perceptions. And all of this, this fear mongering that has been going on is not reality. And Graham's proposal does allow states to enact tighter abortion restriction laws, even if it is passed on a federal level. Now, we did reach out to Dr. Oz's campaign to have him see if he wanted to clarify that if he is elected U.S. Senator, how would he vote if a federal abortion bill came on the books? They did not get back to me with that. Hmm. And uh, what are the chances they actually vote on this federal bill? Well, you can never say never, but those I spoke with today do not believe it'll happen anytime soon, especially when you have those like Mitch McConnell and a bunch of other Republican senators have kind of stepped back from this. So I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect it to uh, come up for a vote, but I'm no expert. I just play one on TV. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Bo. Thank you, Bo. Well, John Fetterman has confirmed that.